Bonjour. Uh, in this video, uh, I will showcase my first entry for the parametric of the challenge uh, in Archicad. And that entry would be a module for a grand stem. Uh, what I would do uh, is uh, in uh, uh, in the first part, I will detail uh, all the options of that object. Uh, and in the second part, uh, I will use this tennis court uh, to create a grandstand uh, on uh, that side and maybe uh, if uh, there is uh, enough time on that side as well. Uh, so uh, here uh, we'll see uh, the module in 3D. Uh, we can see so there are the seatings, the frame, the slabs, the, the, the railing. Uh, we can see that I have uh, an, another uh, simple detailing. So if my computer is not powerful enough, I can have simply line work uh, for the frames. Uh, it's okay for me, so I will put it as a detailed um, LOD. And we can also see that on the right side, we do not have uh, the right part of the frame, uh, and this is normal, uh, because when we create the grandstand, we will duplicate uh, this module. And if we keep, uh, and if we do not have the option of having or not uh, the, 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 the right part of the frame, then we will simply uh, have duplicated geometry on all the axes of our grandstand, but would not be good um, would not be good to them simply. So uh, how do I use uh, this object? Uh, so uh, it's mostly used uh, in 2D, uh, but for example, I can already here uh, uh, raise the, the number of frames. Uh, and here I can see that I have now five frames uh, in this module. The maximum is six. Uh, so if I want to have more, then uh, this will be the limit here. Uh, in 2D, I could also uh, do the same uh, if I want to, for example, have four frames, then I will do it that way. Uh, the other option here uh, is uh, uh, the first part here, uh, which in French is called marche pied, but I do not know really how it translates in English. Uh, but here we can see that the first part is a bit deeper. Uh, so that simply means that I have more room, for example, if um, the people uh, uh, do not have space to uh, to walk uh, in front of the grandstand, then they would have uh, with this option here. Uh, so uh, we also have uh, the option to have left uh, and right railing. To have the right railing, I need to have the right frame, obviously, because the railing is on the frame. So uh, here, uh, for example, we can see that I have now the uh, right, the left and the back railing. Yeah. So the railing really are needed for the end uh, part of the, of the grandstand. So the left for the uh, leftmost part and the right for the rightmost part. Otherwise, Otherwise, it's not really needed uh, anyway. Uh, we also have the ability to have uh, an angle uh, here. So this is a 20.5 uh, degree uh, angle. So to create a 90 uh, uh, degree angle, I need four parts. So uh, I can uh, obviously uh, here change the depth uh, and the number of frame as well. So it's also possible uh, in 3D and in 2D. Uh, in other option, uh, now I can switch to uh, the second page. Uh, and before that, I will just go back to straight as the option for straight and uh, angle are a bit different here. Uh, so uh, in the straight parts, uh, then uh, I can have a number of seats uh, per module. So for example, uh, here, uh, if I have uh, a module uh, that is for example VIPs, uh, I can have now uh, more widths for the, the, the seats. Uh, and uh, I can also have the ability to have VIP seats if I want to. Uh, I can change uh, for uh, all the type of modules uh, the depth and the height uh, of the steps. For example, here, if I do not have any constraint uh, on the terrain, I can, for example, take the, the bigger uh, depth. That way, I have more leg room for each uh, row. Uh, I can also have a, a steeper uh, gradient uh, for the grandstand that way. 
Uh, so this way, uh, the, the, the view is a bit better for the road that are the furthest from the, from the shore. Um, but if I am constrained, and for example, by height, or by the, the, the depth that I have for the grandstand, then maybe I need to be in the default that way. Uh, then uh, here I can select or not if the column here has steps or has seats. Uh, so this is used to create steps to access uh, the grandstand. Uh, it can be full uh, steps, obviously, or full uh, seats. So I'm, I'm, I can choose, but usually uh, it's by two. Uh, I could eventually only have one, but for example here, uh, I have a um, 1800 module uh, and this steps is only 60 centimeters. So it's really, really narrow. So it's better to have uh, two columns uh, and it will be even better when I have four that way. You know. uh, so uh, here I can have the two middle one or for example, uh, the, 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 the two right one or the two left one. You know. At the minimum, uh, there should be two uh, columns uh, as a steps, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so here, if I apply, I can see the change. Uh, then uh, I uh, also uh, here I have the ability to uh, change the color of my seats, which will be important. Uh, here we can see that uh, all is yellow. Uh, and here we have my seat selections. So the seat selection is to change the, uh, the type of seats and the color. To change the type of seats, uh, you really need to be in uh, three seats per module uh, because it gives me uh, enough width to have the VIP seats. And the VIP seats have simply uh, armrest uh, because you know VIPs need to, to rest their arm properly um, on the, while they are sat down. So if I do not want uh, this kind of seats, then uh, I simply go back to standard and I can go back to four that way, you know. Uh, also uh, here, I will be able to change uh, all, uh, to select all uh, of the seats of my module. Simply some colon, oh, sorry. Simply some colon, if I want to, for example. Uh, or I can select individual seats uh, if, for example, I want to uh, write uh, something uh, in a stance uh, by simply having a different color. You know, for example, here I have selected my seats. Now I can see I have three seats that are selected. I have changed the color uh, that way. And I can see here the three seats are changed. Uh, I can do it, obviously, uh, uh, as a select all option. You know, we can see now that all the seats are blue. And then uh, the, the, the end, uh, the, the, the last option that I can have uh, here is eventually uh, changing uh, the, uh, the, the, the slab finish. So this part here or the railing finish uh, here because there is, a, there is a panel here. By default, it is uh, in a glaze, uh, uh, glaze finish. But for example, if I want something opaque that way, I can change it as well. So uh, all those are all the options for the straight um, for, for for the straight uh, types of uh, of module. Uh, let's see what we have now for uh, the angle type. So I go back on the first page, and now I can uh, go and change and change the type of stand. So for that one, uh, we can see so the, the change have been. Uh, have been kept uh, and uh, for my seats here we can see that we have a bit less uh, possibilities so this one is the same but for that one here uh, I, I could not have in the UI uh, all 16 uh, column here so I simply chose uh, to uh, only be able to change by row rather than by individual seats uh, it was a more user-friendly approach uh, rather than have uh, you know a page dedicated to uh, having only uh, the, the seats available, uh, you know, it was just a, a choice for this uh, this object. You know. So here I can see now that I have selected uh, those specific rows and I can change their color as well. And now uh, I can also do it uh, overall in a range. You know. So uh, that's all when it comes to all the options of the object. 
what I will do now uh, is simply uh, speed up the video uh, and I will uh, create uh, with some music uh, background uh, the, the, the stance here and at the end I will uh, put the video back uh, at normal speed and I will uh, just uh, draw some conclusion. Voila, uh, so uh, as uh, you can see, uh, it was quite fast, the video was sped up, but uh, still uh, I was able to uh, uh, quite quickly um, change uh, the uh, design of the grandstand, change uh, and create some, uh, some railing, uh, and also be able to change the color uh, and even create uh, and uh, put a name on one of the green stands. So it should be uh, read as GDL. It's not good. It's GDL, um, but you know, uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, it should also it could also be, for example, the name of uh, of a team, of a football team, or the name of a city, for example. So it's also possible uh, with this object. Uh, so that's quite uh, quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, uh, object in a BIM software should have some information to be scheduled. Uh, so uh, they are uh, in this object. Here we can see the schedule here uh, that is now populated. You can see that I can have the, the, the different dimension, different numbers of colors of seats. Uh, I can also have uh, different uh, and see uh, which uh, object have their raining uh, on or off. Uh, and, and this is the most important one. I can also see the number, uh, the total number of my seats. You see, so 3,520 30, seats, which is quite nice to uh, design quite easily uh, in plain view or in 3D, and also in, I believe, in quite user-friendly uh, way. You know. So uh, this is all uh, for this object. I hope that uh, you liked it and uh, the video as well. And I will have other entries for this challenge, and I hope that they will be uh, as good as, uh, as that one. Bye.